Hey lads, how's it going? Now we are going to have a look at the new vehicles of the Air Branch in the upcoming update Winged Lines. We are still on the first dev server, so there will most likely be new planes added to the next update of the dev server, especially a Mirage 5 for the French tech tree. But let's start with America. America gets after the B-57B Canberra at 9.7 the Thunder Chief. A plane so many people waited for ages. It's another strike aircraft which comes with loads of dump bombs, four A9Es, a 20mm Gatling gun with up to 1000 rounds and the capability of, well, I don't know, getting as many bombs as you want basically. You can get 3000 pound bombs, you get, get 750 pound bombs, you are going to be quite a menace in combined battles or you will be definitely a great strike aircraft for just air rb again 9.7 is not that bad you got four aim 9es and you should be pretty fast and nimble as well the biggest problem i have with the thunder chief is the lack of countermeasures because to be fair at 9.7 there are already loads of planes which wield very potent missiles for example the a5 cancer at 10.0 with magics for example the yak 38 at 9.3 with our 60s the MiG-21 SPSK with R60s at 10.0. So yeah, you definitely need to watch out. Let's move over to Mother Russia, where we are going to get Gomrad the MiG-27K. The MiG-27K, okay, stop now, is another 11.0 strike aircraft. It's the ultimate MiG-27 with, as far as I know, better avionics and a new laser designator in the snout of the plane. It doesn't get anything new armament wise as far as I'm concerned except for new KAB 500 those are no more TV guided but laser guided again you should use your laser guided in the nose right but other than that nothing really changed it gets the R60Ms it gets big flares and it's a speedy plane Russia gets another strike aircraft being the Su-22 M3 which is going to be a squadron vehicle. The Su-22 M3 is the export version of the Su-17 M3. It has now a humpback and it actually has some countermeasures. 12 to be precise, the same as the MiG-23M, which is not a lot, but it's still better than not having anything. It also comes with a new laser designator in the snout of the nose of the plane. We can get up to 6 R60s, which is pretty pog. And it obviously can also wield the KH-29L rockets. To be fair, I'm not that happy with the addition of the SU-22 M3. I really hope that Russia is going to get the SU-17 M3 because, come on, the SU-22 M3 is literally an upgrade in every single way compared to the SU-17 M2. It gets some flares, not a lot, but some flares, and it gets 6 R60s. Not R60Ms, R60s. Still, two more than what the Tech G version has at the same BR. Maybe, like, that's the thing. The SU-17 M2 could be 10.7 and the SU-22 should be 11.0. But at the moment, it's very sad and really hope that we are going to get the SU-17 M3 as well. Especially as the SU-22 M3 most likely is going to disturb quite a little bit the balance. Because so many noobs are just going to buy it and be like, oh, look, I got a top tier plane. Whee! Next up we have Britain, which just gets a new Seafire LF Mark III, which is placed right after the Firebrand and right in front of the Seafire Folder 3 at 5.0. I don't know, it's a Seafire, it's Spitfire, same shit, different name. Speaking about same shit, different name, are you ready for the LA-11 in the Chinese tech tree at 5.3? Copy, paste, pog, very cool. Let's move on. France also gets the Seafire LF Mark III after the P63 C5 and before the F80 F1B Bearcat. Ray, I guess. And Sweden doesn't get any new aviation, so let's move on to the big boy in the room. But before we do that, don't forget to share this video and like and comment it and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Really, at the size I am at the moment, it every single person count. You can make the difference of me becoming broke or becoming great. Thank you. So let's move on to the Israeli tech tree. 
I guess we have to do a speedrun version. The Israeli tech tree starts at rank 4 with the Spitfire Mark 9C at 5.7, the S199 at 4.0 and the B17G at 5.3. Let's first start with the fighter tech tree which is starting from the Mark 9C Spitfire. It goes on to the Spitfire Mark 9CV which has the clipped wings which is also still at 5.7. Then we move over directly to JetBR with the Meteor NF13 at 7.7 .7. and this is basically the nose plane. It has a huge radar in the front of its nose, two crew members as well as the Hispanos are not mounted in the nose. Obviously there is the radar, they are mounted in the wingtips. At 8.0 we have the Meteor F8 which has back again a more conventional setup. It also comes with some rockets if you really need them for ground battles but I don't would stress it. At 8.7 we are going to move over to the Mister 4A. The 4A at 8.7 is giving you a, a decent airframe with 30mm defa guns and shotgun rockets. Pretty interesting. The Sambad at 9.0 is a Super Mastera B2 we already know from the French tech tree. It also comes with 30mm defa guns and two Schaffrier air-to-air -air missile. And at the moment at 9.0 as well we have the Super Mastera B2 Zaar which comes with Schaffrier 2 air-to-air -air missiles and some ground pounding ordnance and the 30mm defa guns. I actually don't really know what the difference is between the Zambad and the Zaar except for it having Schaffrier 2. And I don't really know what the difference at the moment of Schaffrier 1 and Schaffrier 2 missiles is. This is at the moment it for the fighter tech tree. There are missing some planes though. Keep an eye out for the next dev server or watch my copy paste or unique tech tree video where I go over all the vehicles. So the fighter bomber tree starts with the S199, goes over to the P51D 20NA at 4.3 to then go to the Uragan at 7.7. .7. The Uragan boasts some ground pounding capabilities with rockets as well as bombs but that's about it. Then we immediately jump to 8.7 for the A4E early M version which from the looks of it is exactly the same as the premium at 8.7 and lastly the tree ends at the F4E Phantom 2, which we already know and love. It gets something new being the GBU-15, which is a pretty big bomb, 2000 pounds to be precise, with 500 TNT equivalent of explosive mass. But other than that, it's a copy paste Phantom. And lastly, the bomber tree, as already mentioned, it starts with the B-17G at 5.3, goes over to the Vautor 2A at 9.0, which has a really decent upgrade, which is the capability of using bombs as well as air-to-air -air missiles. Yes, you lose your wing-mounted tips, but you know what the best thing is? Gaijin actually introduced that feature to the normal Vautor as well. So now you will finally be able to use bombs, six bombs to be precise, as well as four Shafrir air-to-air A9B clone missiles. That's pretty cool. And the tree now ends with the first real top tier of the Israeli tech tree, the Nesher, a Mirage 5 ground pounder version, which comes with A9G missiles or A9Ds, but A9Gs are obviously better, and lots and lots and lots of bombs. From 3,000 pounds to Sunni and Mighty Mouse rockets to loads of 500 kilogram bombs, we got them all, or even seven 1,000 pound bombs. It is everywhere. The problem with the Nesher is at 10.3, it still does not have countermeasures and it does not have a boarding computer for bombing. Whew. I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you liked the video, subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks and have a great day.